what is up YouTube welcome to today's video so today as you can see I'm with my buddy Martin on his MT-09 Martin say hello so <laughs> very very enthusiastic so we're going off for a little ride today mainly to go and film a uh, review on some gloves that I got but that's gonna be a separate video so today's subject oh oh today's subject is how many bikes have you owned and out of those bikes, what was your favorite? So let's quickly roll the intro and then we'll get into the topic. All right, welcome back. So, uh, as I said, today's topic is how many bikes have you owned? and which was your favorite so i'm going to start in chronological order so when i was how old 17 i guess 17 i had a cg125 or a cb125 i can't remember i'll double check and put a picture on so ugly thing but that's basically what all the uh uk training schools use for like um for, for lessons for riding lessons so basically i got one so that i be doing my test my exam on the same bike you know at that time I was very sensible <laughs> so yeah I had that for about I don't know six months maybe after I passed my test I couldn't wait to get a new bike but yeah I was only young so I had to wait and do some savings so second bike I got after that was a VFR 400 NC30 in the smoking Joe's color scheme so that was a very cool bike did so many road trips on that being young and uh, dumb and full of cum <laughs> yeah I'm talking <laughs> I uh, went to the south of France on it went to Le Mans to watch Le Mans race on it went to well how many I think I went to like three or four countries in Europe on that bike over like a year so I only had the bike for a year so yeah, that's Smoking Joe's VFR. I sold that for a pretty good price and I then bought a Ducati 748 SPS. Uh, that was used as well. I bought that from Brands Hatch and it, it was a kind of a dumb thing to do, but basically the bike didn't give me any problems, so I was lucky, but it was an X experience day bike. You know, those track bikes that you can ride for a day for however many hundreds of bucks and uh, yeah so I bought one of those and it had uh, 3,000 no 3,000 miles on it but I guess it was regularly maintained you know it was all good but yeah I, I had that for a year and didn't have any problems with it surprisingly being a thrashed track bike and being Italian it was all good so from then on I bought a brand new GSXR 600 S rad that's how old I am without giving it away too much fuck this let's go to the front uh yeah so 600 s rad rode that for quite a while then i got a speed triple the original one like the the stupid ugly headlight one so i rode that for not very long because that got stolen then i had a bit of a hiatus from bikes from that point onwards i got a um fzr 1000 after that that had been tuned with different carbs and stuff like that Thanks, Mr. Bus Driver. Uh, yeah, that bike I ended up crashing and smashed. Oh, if we're talking about crashes, I crashed my 748 as well, and I crashed my VFR 400 as well. VFR 400, I crashed doing stoppies in front of the pub with my mate, who's a regular commenter on here, so he knows who he is. The 748, I crashed on the way to work, slid on some cow shit or some gravel or something, don't remember, but wearing a suit, wearing a work suit, fucked up my legs a little bit, not too bad though. And yeah, then the FZR 1000, I fucked myself up good and proper. I uh, crashed and I hit one of these poles. This was in Japan, I hit like a pole like that. And the bone came out of my leg. And I was, that time as well, I, I, was, I got so, all my crashes are fucking stupid. Like I was squidding every time I crashed. That time I crashed, I was wearing skate shoes and the laces got trapped um, around the brake, the rear brake pedal and so my leg was cooking against the engine case while I was lying on the floor with the bone sticking out of my leg so yeah that was nasty that was an FZR 1000 so after that I, ha I kind of had a rest from bikes for a while so after that still talking oh yeah it's a Ferrari 
<laughs> Ferrari Club of Japan. Maybe he's secretly rich. Let's have a, let's have a look at him and see if he looks rich. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. So yeah, after that, uh, my next bike was a 690 Duke, the original Duke, uh, the one with the headlights, the two sort of round headlights, top top and bottom. Uh, had that until it had done 45,000 kilometers and uh, one time just one time I skimped on uh, buying oil I can't remember what had happened but at that particular point of time I was completely broke let's see if this guy's an actual Ferrari rich guy or not uh, can't see but uh, yeah so I put some car oil that was the same viscosity a 1050 car oil in and like 200 kilometers later i heard like a funny knocky noise i thought eh maybe it's okay it's done a lot of kilometers maybe it just needs a, a bit of a, a rebuild in the future did a wheelie on the way to work back wheel locked up came crashing down to the earth on a massive tank slapper and basically had to push it to work after that so that was kind of sucky so after that i didn't learn my lesson bought another 690 but this time a smc 690 supermoto thrashed that about for about a year then i got worried about having old bikes so i then bought myself a brand new mg07 which was i don't know maybe two years ago you guys will know that because that's what i started doing my motor vlogs on so after the mg07 what i get cbr 600 double r had that at the same time then sold that then i bought this KTM Super Duke 990 so yeah that's basically all the bikes that I've owned and to be honest my favorite bike out of all those oh R32 GTR sweet uh, my favorite bike out of all those was the MT07 and you'll know why probably from watching my videos because I love that bike you could use the maximum revs without having to worry like it wasn't too powerful it wasn't too weak it was basically just perfect the handling wasn't great but for a day-to-day -day bike and occasional threshing around the countryside it was great so yeah i'm interested to hear what you think about your favorite bikes and how many bikes you've owned so over to you guys gorilla biker your turn web your turn let me hear those video replies ciao for now